Angel and my brother, and he, you know, he's having a moment, as most people do when their brother dies, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, he says, well, we haven't really left this place since it began. I mean, I'm not a fighter, I'm a, I'm a professor of life science at the University of Atlanta. Not a fighter at all. I'm a politician, I know how you feel. I'd be a chemist. Chemist? Where did you, where did you get your degree at? I didn't write it in my background. <laughs> <laughs> where are you from? Where, where? Uh, no. Canada! <laughs> Canada? Jesus. You're a long way from home. Mm -hmm. What brought you down here? Work. Three adventurers travel through tales untold. Will they survive? Starring... Ryan! Nick! Nathan, this is Dungeons and Dragons. Well, he introduces you to his family. This is Holly. She's like, hello. Emma. And she's like, he's like, well, she's a historian. Right. And uh, this is my, my son, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hello. So dumb. He's a little, little genius. Little pr child prodigy. Yeah. Oh. Till this shit happened. So, are you guys? Oh, fuck. I mean, without Pete, I mean we're probably gonna die in here. Where are you guys going? Kit looks at you. How? What way is Kit looking at it? Is he looking at us like, don't say shit? He's looking at you like, well, you guys opened the door. I suppose it's your obligation. Yeah, that's what he says. He says, well, you guys opened the door. I mean, who knows how Jackson... I mean, Jackson's reasonable. We got meds. I'm sure you could probably easily convince him. And, uh... But... We're just out on us you know, run an errand. Oh, oh, Dave's We're a like, friend. Oh, okay. So, do you guys got a place that we could possibly at least get out of here temporarily with? We don't, but Kit may. And uh, Kit's like, all right, all right. We'll help. We'll help you get out. But thing is. You two. They don't have any weapons. No fight training. Literally dead weight out there. And he looks at Dave. says, We won't be able to protect you. Because we can barely protect ourselves. <laughs> and, uh... Dave does not take that well at all. He's like, Oh, fuck. We can try to get you there, but no promises. Try and try and convince him. I try to convince him. Well, what do you say? Um, uh, don't. What do you what are you uh, saying? I'll, I'll say you can try to come with us. Better than being here. Two plus. Um, it would 
that'd be charisma, so plus three. Um, I don't know, does that count as a lie? Would that count as a lie? Well, if you know for sure there is something better, so I suppose it's not a lie. Yeah, that's okay. five. Okay, uh, so he's very reluctant, but uh, his, his kid goes up. What, what happens? What happens? With what if what happens when Uncle P.E. is gone? And Dave, oh, he's just in a very, you know, this is sudden, right? His brother's literally dead outside the hall. You guys are all of a sudden here, slightly offering a way out, but unprotected, in a sense. I, I approach Dave, and I kind of whisper to him, like, look, you can stay here and die, or... Take the leap of faith and come with us. The literal leap of faith. Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> a little leap of faith. And he's like, okay. Okay. So he says, Holly, get a get a small bag together. So he puts he puts some books in a bag. In a little satchel, he puts some of his life science and stuff, maybe his own work. Yeah. No weapons. No, no medication or food. Just takes the books. Same with Holly. They load up their books and uh, little Quiss, Quiss wings his uh, lovely little teddy bear. Teddy bear. Yeah. But he also has his own little booklet Yeah, of stuff. Yeah. A pamphlet to the nearest university. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he's a little, little, little Einstein, All some right. would call him. What's, what's the root? Okay, spot, let's... Spot check or just go roof or... Do you want to check the alleyway now? Um, let's go check... Grab that ladder. Okay, you go to the ladder. Grab it. <laughs> oh, from maintenance, maintenance room? Yeah. Okay. So, uh... You grab the ladder. <laughs> okay, and we'll go back up to the roof. <laughs> okay. Can we check the alleyways to see if they're any better? Yeah, let's... Check the alleyways and Check all around the, the building. Check them all the way out the window and all around the building. Just, just, pardon our, our, our off camera. There's someone being uh, <laughs> interesting, and uh, and so you grab the ladder and you look in the alleyway. Spot check. Nine plus three, fifteen, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So you see, there are still some zombies, but Kit walks up to you, and he has a. Not so pleasant suggestion. And he whispers it. <sighs> Pete. He's dead. Now, I'm not going to push you to anything. But I'm also trying to save my own skin. And I don't plan on jumping across a building to get out of here. But look at it this way. He, he all of a sudden, he turns very sly. And he says... Pete, he spent his life, or spent what left of his life, protecting his family. Now, let's, let's, let's give Pete one last protection. You know what I mean. Uh, Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what you mean, but I don't know. Well, we take his body, we throw it out the window. Mm. I mean, it's still fresh. The zombies will still go for it. Might give us time. I'm not throwing a body out the window. You can do it. You can do it. Well, you soothe the family. Okay. I'm gonna do the dirty work. I'm gonna take the family. Just I don't say this, they don't even see. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, Paul, good idea. Convince them. Go to the front door. Get ready. Yep. All right. What are you doing? You going with them? You helping me? It's dead weight. Heavy stuff. I guess I'll give you a hand. Most obliged. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna start going downstairs. Alright, and uh, Dave, like, Dave looks at you. Is, are we going now? Yep, let's go down. Okay. Uh, come on. And uh, the, they start following you down the steps. Tell and, the kid uh, to be quiet and don't make us out. Be quiet, don't make us out. And make sure everybody knows what to and soon follow. Fifteen. Yep. Let's see. Kid, 
Okay, so he's an intelligent kid. Zips his mouth. And uh, so Kit grabbed the shoulders of Pete. And uh, well, I'm guessing you grabbed the, the grab legs. The and uh, let's see. Yeah, he successfully uh, is doing his part. Check, check. I am probably not doing my part. Not in this nothing. It's you're struggling. You're bigger fella. You're struggling. I'm a little but, uh, hurt. But he's he's doing a lot, and he uh, gets to the window, you know, whoop, and whoop, out the window, <clears throat> sort of cracks off, sort of, you know, like a cheese grater, <laughs> on concrete and flesh, going uh. down the side of the building, and then falls into the horde, you know, kills a zombie or two, with his body, just Nothing. you know. And, uh, yep, a feast begins. Okay. Yeah. Put the fun down, down, down the stairs. Alright, so, Kit follows you. I get ready on the lock for when they come down. Okay, the lock is primed. And, uh, we get down. Yep. <clears throat> we make it. Lock the door. Run, run, run. Spot check for the clearest way. Okay. Safest route. Spot. Spot. Right, right. Four. Eighteen. So you see, you're, you're in business mode right now. And, uh, you see... To your left, bad idea. To your right, a lot of the zombies are starting to clear out, causing a path across the block. A lot of the zombies on the right are clearing into the alley because of the feast. But some of the zombies in the center will begin to immediately realize, like, huh? Yes, so this is your chance. Fucking boot it. All right, let's see. Sprint, my friends, sprint. 12. 13. 13. All right, so you guys are just giving it Giving a good. Okay. 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 So everyone else is sort of slower behind you. Dave is definitely the 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 Dave family is. They're not doing too well. This is their first time outside. And uh, they're starting to lose it a little bit. Yeah. And Kit's not doing too well either. Who is doing well? Let's be honest. Um. Motivational speech, Mr. Politician? Okay. Well, we need to fucking help Kit. I don't give too many shits about Dave's fan. I don't feel like that Liabilities are fun, though. Kind of like, I don't know, turn around, kind of like, yo, come on, we can do this. Politicians okay. are cool. Rally Roll. on me. Roll. Him. I'm, I'm not a... You said it. Roll. I'm a smart man. I know what's up. Two! <laughs> nope, they don't hear it over the dr over the groans of the dead. They notice that you guys are here now. So the... It's almost like a pincer move. They're starting to close in. Are you booted faster? Roll. No convincing speech? 17. 17! Alright, so you guys are now leaving everyone behind. Uh, yeah. So Kit picks it up. Everyone picks it up. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, no unlucky souls. And, uh, so you clear it. You clear this swarm. There's still sporadic zombies all about. So you can push and dodge. There's about, let's say, five zombies to get through. And then you're in the clear for the warehouse. Okay. Put it some more. All right. You'll have to push or attack. Uh, I'm going to opt for pushing. Okay. Uh, you actually trip into two of the zombies, and they <laughs> climb on top of you. Fuck. Alright, Mason, here we go. Alright, so there's six, you said, or five? There's five. five okay. Two are on top of him now. Two are on... Go sh... Go, go back, get back to there. Paul. Um... Why did you fall? <laughs> Because I suck at Because the dice god said so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you um, you go. I guess we're balls deep in a squealing hog, so I'm gonna... Ah! Attack, pull, Help. push. I'm gonna... So there's two on him, and then I assume there's just three like right nearby? Three. Yeah. And we're in the lead. I'm a shotgun blast on them. Oh, not one of the ones on me. No, 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 I'm sure Okay, you. okay. <laughs> Alright, so pick... Uh... All right, hold on here. Pick uh, three, four, or five. 
I mean, I can hit with a hammer for five turns, or I can make some noise and take one down. Alright, so three, four, five if you're going to shoot them. Three, four, five. I'm going to three. Shotgun, twelve. Dexterity, you hit. Yeah, you hit regardless, okay. Three, uh, two, D8. Eight. Eight. <laughs> you blow its head off. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like upper torso just sort of disappears, yeah, into a fine pink mist. Yeah, so... Okay. Well, I'm trying to fucking shot. Oh, sorry, Kit. Kit is going to attempt to pull one of the zombies off you. Thanks, Kit. Nope. Lose his grip. He's got the sweaty butterfingers right now. Fucking Kit. Butterfingers. This is the best man. He's a not good kid. Alright, so you can, I'm guessing you're going to try and push one of them off, or attempt something. Yeah, I'm pushing them off. Disadvantage, though. negative one on this. Seventeen. You push one off. You push one off completely, and you loosen the grip of another. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, you blew one into a fine pink mist. I'm going to cock that and pop another one. Okay, roll. Uh, four or five, or the one on top of the... No. Yeah. On top of no, uh, I'll do four then. Alright. Three! Three? Three? Three. You miss. Alright, and Kit will attempt to pull the one loose off you. Nope. Cool. Yeah, so, uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, sorry, the zombie. Zombie, the zombie yeah. on top of you is going to miss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to push it off, obviously. 17! Yep. Push it off. So, technically, everyone is available to move at this point. Cool. So, do you guys try to dodge? We should probably try to push two of them down, because the liabilities are probably going to get caught in one of them. Yeah. Push them down to make this all the better. Right, so, push four or five. Mason. Why do you use my dinner? It's your choice. Yeah. I'm thinking! Which one is closer? They're side by side. Yeah. I'm going to go for, like, Four is closer to you guys. That's a mulligan. Four, so 18. Yeah. You push it to the ground, and Kit will try and mimic. Misses. Yeah. So. What do you guys do? Are you guys going to try and just beat it? Just beat it? There's one zombie standing up, and there's a few on the ground, so yeah. book it. Yep, let's run. All right. Book it. That one, that one, that one. Oh. Nope. What do Yes. 14. All right. Yeah, well, let's do some of the other... Goofy doing, Goobers. Doing good, fam. Okay. Okay. So the Dave family is lagging behind, but none of the zombies grab at anything. No. So, you guys approach the warehouse, and we'll be back after the break. Hey.